in the world where everyone wants everything comfortable for themselves. I have learned from my dad how to walk 15 miles a day for a work, but still manages to buy a bicycle for the children who are going to school, which is just half a mile from home. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, faculty members, and most importantly, my dear father. Today is the day that fills my heart with a mixture of emotion. As I stand before you, I cannot help but feel an overwhelming sense of pride, gratitude, and tinge of sadness. We are gathered here to celebrate not just the end of a remarkable career, but also to honor a man whose dedication and passion have touched the lives of countless students, including myself. Today, we bid farewell to a true legend, my father, as he retires from the role of Chairs Professor. To say that my father is an exceptional educator would be an understatement. He possesses a rare gift the ability to ignite the flame of curiosity within the hearts of his students, to guide them towards the path of knowledge and to inspire them to become a best version of themselves. He dedicated his life to modeling young minds, imparting wisdom and shaping future. Beyond the lecture halls, my father has been a pillar of support for our family. He has taught us the value of hard work perseverance and the importance of never compromising with our principles. He has shown us the success is not measured by material position, but by the impact that we have in others' lives. His selflessness and humility serves as constant reminder of the kind of person what I aspire to become. Dad, as you embark to this new chapter of your life, I want you to know how proudly grateful I am for everything you have done for me and for the countless lives you have touched. Your impact reaches far beyond the confines of this institution. Your teachings will continue to reverberate through the minds of your students for years to come. Your unwavering dedication and passion will forever inspire us to strive for excellence. On this special day, as we celebrate your retirement, let us raise our glasses not just to an accomplished professor, but to an extraordinary human being, a mentor, a role model, and a loving father. May this new chapter bring you joy, fulfillment, and well-deserved rest, so you rightly deserve. Thank you, Dad, for your underwaving love, guidance, and the indelible mark you have left on our lives. You are and you will always be my hero. Some of the uh, learnings that I have got by looking into his life, which I also like to share it with all of you today. In this virtual world, where everything is being moved virtual, including friends, followers, I have learned from him how to keep a real friends, real people in life and be connected with them. In the world where financial education is at its peak, where everyone talks about earning more, saving more, investing more with a lot of investment opportunities, I have learned from him that everything we earn is not for ourselves. It is our duty to take care of our people around us who has less than us and who are less privileged than us. In the current world where everybody looks for a fashion where everybody wants to own a brand to showcase others. I learned from my dad that how a fulfilled life can be lived without even owning a single brand, but still having contentment in the life. We don't need any brand to make us feel complete. We are already complete. In this world where everyone tells us to fill your cup first, because only then you can pour something out of your cup to others. I have learned from my dad that even your cup is half full, you can still pour something, what you have, to the ones who doesn't have anything. In the world where everyone wants everything comfortable for themselves, 
I have learned from my dad how to walk 15 miles a day for a work, but still manages to buy a bicycle for the children who are going to school, which is just half a mile from home. In a world where everybody wants everything perfect for themselves, I have learned from my dad that how to do a PhD work on a used sheet of papers but still manage to provide the best stationery and books for the children who are going to school. I have learned from my dad that how to have just 100 rupees in pocket to buy an essentials for a week but still manages to buy us our favorite juice and candies in the market. I have learned from my dad that how to keep everybody happy whenever he returns from an outstation by buying gift for everybody in the home, making sure everybody feels happy with the gift that he bought. And there is one gift missing that is for himself. In the world where we hurt the courts, if you are good at something, never do it for free. I've learned from my dad uh, how to teach hundreds of students, deliver lectures for free of cost, doing the job, whatever he is good at, wherever his expertise, without charging a single rupee for. Overall, I have learned from my dad a real meaning of life, that the real life is not the one that is led for our own self, but it is the one which is led in the service of others. At this moment, Dad, I want to let you know that we are grateful for everything that you have done for us. Every single thing, we could not expect anything more than that. And I also want you to know that this could have not been any way better because you have provided everything best for us. We cannot expect anything else apart from this. But I have a small complaint that uh, I want you to share us your problems, your troubles, your difficulties with us. It's how unfair it is that you share everything good that you have with all of us, but you keep every trouble of yours for yourself alone. I want uh, that small change from you. I would like to request you. Uh, at the end, I just like to uh, end my words with a small Urdu poetry. For those of you who do not understand Urdu, it is about the quote which goes like, A mother carries a child for a nine month in her womb, but a father carries his child for a lifetime in his mind. So the poetry goes something like this. Dil ka hai nar, magar sakht khud ko dikhata hai. जमाने की हर ठोकर से लेकिन मुझे बचाता है खदम उठाना तो क्या खदम जमाना भी सिखाता है खुद से आगे जाता देखकर सिर्फ वो ही तो मुस्कुराता है मैं अगर कर दूं कोई गलती बहुत डांट पिलाता है रोता है दिल ही दिल में चेहरे पर हंसी दिखाता है करता है बेशुमार नसीहतें मेरे हर एक खदम पर मेरे कामयाबी पर मेरे खानदे भी सहलाता है दुनिया में जीने का सलीका भी बताता है वो रिश्ता कोई और नहीं सिर्फ बाप का कहलाता है लव यू थैंक यू सो मच